Well everyone, welcome back to more Let's Play Dark Sun, The Shattered Lands. Now, last time after that horrible defeat we got after insulting the king, we are back in the slave pens, and now we're going to try to actually escape. We have a couple of options on how to escape. The most obvious one is just to fight our way out. That's just to attack every guard we can see, and hopefully beat them into submission, and get out of here. Another option is, if you remember down here, there's this door in Dinos' cell that we could possibly get out. And since we have a thief in our party, we can even pick it. But, we're gonna go with this guy. We're gonna go with Merlon here. Merlon said there's a gem that he could use to bribe the guards. And there it is, Merlon's gem. But that's not the only gem. It's also this one. I want to make sure that he does not use that gem to bribe the guards, so I'm going to drop it on the floor. And hopefully this will work. Ooh, considering your dealings with the other slaves, it would not be wise for you me to speak with you now. Alright, so what did I do wrong? Alright everyone, I figured out what was wrong. Our buddy Mirlan over here wanted nothing to do with us because we became king of the pens. He was clearly jealous of our success. So what I had to do was reload a previous save. And remember kids, that's why it's important to keep multiple saves. So that way when you screw up your recording of your let's play, you can reload. And I replayed the battles in the arena, but I killed Scar and his men in the pens instead of out in the arena and took all their goodies. So we never got the chance to become king of the pens. So now Myron over here is going to talk to us. Let's give him that gem we found. Alright, I've got the gem. Good, I'll take that. Give the gem to Mirlan? Yes. Great, and here's the plan. I have a secret patron in the city who bribed the guard captain. Even so, there might be some trouble. So it would be better if we went separately. You can leave now. Who is this patron of yours? I can't say. If his identity were known, he would lose much. Probably his life. I must know more about this patron. I'll tell you some, but I hope you know better than to repeat it. I wasn't always a slave. My family was noble until Tech Tuk Title ordered our house disband. My patron is someone who's still aligned with us. That's all I can say. I can say no more of him. Why was your house disbanded? We openly opposed the brutality of the Templars. Well, aren't you coming? No, not just yet. I still have some matters to tie up. You should go now. No, 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 no way. You're coming with me. Yeah, we're not leaving him. He's going to come and show us the way. Very well. I will follow you past Kurzak, then take the lead. Alright, let's go. Good luck. Alright, now I'm going to grab the valuable gem and hang on to it. Now this is actually a pretty tough part, and I screwed this up a lot. Let's we'll see if I can do it right this time. Alright, let me in. Mirlan sent me. I'm on my way, slave. You got here fast. Good to see gladiators so ready to fight. The crowd is waiting. Get moving. Come on then, don't stand around. But this time, instead of taking us out to the arena, he's going to take us over here to this door. He's going to open it up to us. Now we could talk to him a little bit, but he doesn't have a lot to say. So, you and Mirlan are buddies, huh? No, I don't know. Can I trust him? Kurzak quickly glanced at Mirlan. Of course you can, like a brother. Not oh, it was too fast, but he just said keep moving. It's down this corridor, then we'll take a left. That dialogue is different, depending on whether or not Mirlan is over there. It's just this way, not much farther. Now there are other places we can check out, but we're not going to be able to get to them right now. 
We really didn't need that help, but I understand your concern. Like I was saying before, this is easy to screw up, and I've done it a lot. Because even going through all this, you can still take off the garments, and they'll come rushing to attack you. We'll be there soon. Just this room. Again, too fast. Alright, so... Nylon, or Mirlon, or whatever I've been calling him, is going to go hang out over here. And we're going to go talk to his patron, this Templar. But I've had this screw up a lot of times on me, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save. Alright, now that I've saved, we could go talk to Nylon's patron over here. There's something I want to do really quickly first. You may remember that Gala mentioned that she had to distract a guard by, by destroying a vase? Well, that's what we're going to do. Move back a little bit. Alright, the guard starts to move around the corner to find the cause of the clatter. Alright. Now, if this works out the way I hope, he's going to be around the corner checking out that vase. Now let's go talk to the patron over here. So, you've escaped. I admire your resourcefulness and skill. I am prepared to grant you your freedom and four lavas of healing. In return, we will go to the main city, the Headless Giant Tavern. And tell the bartender that Hetchu sent you? I can use warriors such as yourselves. Alright, well, tell us more about the mission. Tek Tuk Title, our sorcerer king, has left. Perhaps for good. Now is the time for the Enterprise to gather forces. You will be used to eradicate my opponents. Okay, why should we trust you? I offer much, but demand only little. All I ask for the moment is that you go to the tavern. Alright, well let's accept his proposition, and let's get out of this horrible arena. Good decision. Here are the guavas, like I promised. Remember to go to the Headless Giant. Untold Richards await you. I will instruct the guards not to attack. Follow me. Now he's going to lead us out of here, but while that's happening, we're going to grab his treasure chest. Now inside the treasure chest is a little bit of money, and a sling we're not going to use. But more importantly, is the ch chest can be used to store items. Now we're going to put the guavas in there. In Dark Sun, Magical fruit is the equivalent of other settings, potions. So different magical fruits have different magical effects. But we'll take a look at the guavas a little later. Not too much later, actually. We've reached the end. Did you truly believe I would help you? You're more gullible than I imagined. I should have known that with brute force comes feeble brains. Guards! So yeah, this was all set up. Now they're gonna murder us. The Templar tries to yell for help, but the roar of the fountain masks his voice. So yeah, so clearly they didn't think this out far enough. Because it was too loud here for them to properly ambush us, so the rest of the arena doesn't even know that this is happening right now. Help! Somebody sound the alarm! Call for reinforcements! Now, hopefully, uh, the arena, not the arena, but the fountain here is so loud that that alarm has not caught anybody else's attention. Alright, let's just grab some of this stuff. Now, changing your equipment during the uh, during battle, probably not the best thing in the world. But, I want to get this done with sooner than later. Our 
hands on Tora. See if you can kill the Templar. And now we'll try to kill the Giant. Okay, maybe not. The giant hit us very hard. Let's see if I got any spells or psionic powers to help out. to take control of another guard. Ah, that looked like it worked. Alright, Zontora, I want you to start looting this body. This body has goodies on it that I want you to have. You can see we pick up more fruit, but what's really fun is we get our first magical weapon. We get the Obsidian Plus One Blood Wraith. She's going to equip that right now. So I'm just going to put on this new armor. Alright, Zontora. Let's see how much harm you can cause. Well, not too much. You couldn't get close enough. Wow, Kamara, you are hurt. Charmed guard, so I'm gonna take him out right now. That was a giant, right? The giant's belt. It's a normal belt, so it doesn't do anything, but we'll hang on to it. is over. Let's loot these bodies real quick. And there's a useful little item. This is a stone pick. You can use it for a weapon. We're actually going to use it later to do a puzzle. Well, not really a puzzle, but we're going to have some use for it a little later. And let's actually give you this treasure chest. We should probably do some healing while we're at it. Oh, you're probably thinking, hey, what about those guavas? The guavas of healing. Well, if you look here, they're actually poisonous. And if we eat them, we have to save versus poison or die. So even then, the Templar was setting us up. Now, you might be asking yourself, why are we hanging on to poisonous guavas then? Well, the answer for that is that guavas are still magical, and therefore still valuable. And we can sell them for a good amount of money. Now it's going to be a little while before we get to sell them, but we'll hang on to them for at least a little bit. Now hopefully, and this is a big hope, I did this right. And we can get out of here without alerting the guards. While I'm at it, I should probably do a little healing. That wasn't bad. Let's, let's be quick. Oh yeah. The little jerk is still hiding in here. And you may want to go back in there and get some revenge on him, but don't do it. If we go in there and attack him, he's going to sound the alarm. Now, there's still more of the arena we can explore, but I'm not going to do that right now, because I want to try to get out of here as quick as possible. 
Now over here is the monster pen Gila mentioned to us. No line of sight, huh? I don't believe you. Alright, we're not gonna pick it because I have bad luck doing that. This is not working out good. Ah, oh, dang it! Well, I took too long, and now all the guards are coming after me. I'm really hoping I could do this without this happening. Alright, but I'm not gonna waste my time. I'll just pick the lock. We'll go in and fight the monster. Stalker. And there is a little button she mentioned. Alright, let's get out of here. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Before I leave, I'm gonna grab all these bags of grain. Because we're gonna use them really soon. It's, it's hard for me to pull this off. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's probably that I fought the Templar. But I want that Templar's goodies, so... I don't know, I think it's worth the trade-off. So here's the great. Alright, it's locked. Do we want to open it? Of course we do. Well, we can either try to rip it open or pick the lock. But we have a rogue, so let's pick the lock can't pick the lock. Sure you can, you gotta have more faith in yourself. There we go. Alright, so, once we go into the sewers, we are all done with the arena. And I think, I'm also gonna call it an episode here. I think this was a pretty short one, but I'd rather do the sewers on its own as its own episode. So, I want to thank you all for watching, and I'm going to see you in the next video.